one, come on in. everybody come on in come on in come on in i am so excited so so excited that you all are here today please allow me to introduce myself for anybody new here hi i am maggie your substitute teacher i'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class today i have a special guest and i'm making something very special have i ever made it before absolutely not has that ever stopped me absolutely not we are making banana pudding, cheesecake, a recipe from none other than our near and dear cooking with Aisha. So today is not a sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free recipe. We're doing full flavor. We're doing Nilla wafers. We're doing real milk, real pudding. We're doing real sugar and all of that. So if you need the uh, substitute recipe, Let's do that tomorrow. So I am your substitute teacher because usually I cook sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free, but today is a special treat. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little bit of story time and then we will take attendance and see who all is in here. But I want you all to know who my special guest is. She's very special to me. So earlier this year, several of you all know that I went to London for a very special podcast and I met MTR there and I met Melanie King there and um, I met lots of people and stayed connected to a lovely lady who was on the panel with me. I had not met her before, but uh, she was also in London and that's where we connected. And there is a clip that I'm going to show you all after I left. And you all may have seen that MTR did a little spiel about Maggie cooking up in the kitchen and whatnot. Uh, I had already left uh, London by this time. But um, after the podcast, this lovely lady came up to me and uh, she was very interested in my story and the work that I've done on my femininity journey. And so she asked if she could sit at my feet. Okay, my words. But anyway. She wanted to learn from me, and so she has said that it's okay to share. She has been one of my consults. So in case you all don't know, I do private consults. Link is in the description if you think you can learn from an old lady like me. So I'm going to show you all this clip, and then I'm going to introduce her after we take attendance, and we're going to get started on cooking. All right. Behavior of women that deserves more respect, right? Like of the women, one of the ones that comes out is Maggie, the substitute teacher, who's graced us with her presence this past week. You sit and you talk to Maggie for like a little bit. Maggie was up in the kitchen for, for 12 damn hours. And I'm not saying that you gotta be up in the kitchen, but she came in to a place that she was unfamiliar with and graced it with feminine ease and presence. Her influence. So right? within feminine ease and presence, guess what? As a man, I am biologically driven to protect that. Biologically. And she right? like, it. She just it it oozes, just it comes off of her just afterwards i went up to her and i was just like oh my goodness i love this i want i want to be a part of this what program so that is lauren and she is here, she's in Atlanta to speak at a conference. Lauren is an attorney. She is a digital nomad. She's gonna tell y'all what that means, but I am not gonna keep her waiting any longer. Lauren, come on in here and say hello. Hi. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. Say hello to my audience. Hi, everybody. It's so nice to meet you guys. Oh, this is so fun. This is fun. So we're going to pull the comments up, but I want uh, I want you to just let everybody know who you are and what you do. Tell them about Activated Law and all of that good stuff. Hi, I am Lauren, the business attorney. I am founder of Activated Law, and um, I'm a digital nomad. So I travel all the, all of the world, hence me being in London, meeting Maggie, and so on and so forth. And just being on this feminine journey, um, I know she shared a lot with me about lawyers being one of the top professions that men should not date. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> and um, I was like, I'm not going to be a part of that segment. What, what do we need to do to fix this and to change that? And so here we are in our journey and our process, and it's been great. And um, I'm loving it. Even watching that video, I cringe. Because Why? <laughs> I cringe because I've learned sitting at Maggie's feet, some of the feedback that she gave from me, even immediately starting afterwards, just like, you know, you were cutting him off and you weren't, you know, that's not really exemplifying feminine energy. And so 
now looking back on it and how I have grown. You I, have. You have. I cringed. I'm like, oh my God, I was cutting them off and I was so anxious to talk. And it's like, just be easy and just let Absolutely. it come. Let it flow. So. I'm so proud of Lauren, you guys. So you all know that uh, Lucy and I did a stream last night. We have started the finishing school for the modern woman mm -hmm. because I am very passionate amongst the cooking, amongst the um, relationship stuff. Um, I'm a boy mom. And so I'm very passionate about our younger ladies and just giving them direction if they seek it out. And Lauren actually came to me in London. And so we have been connected ever since then. And what I learned as a business attorney, when I told her about the finishing school, she asked me and Lucy, so what is your legal strategy? And I was like, uh, I don't have one. Where is the partnership agreement? Where is the um, operating agreement? And so Activated Law is her business. If you would tell them a little bit about what it is, why it's important, and then we're going to get started on the cooking, y'all. Yes. So I am a... Um, international business attorney, as I explained before, and I basically help people pre-litigation. So we want to make sure we have our ownership in, in place. We have our, um, our basically our rights, our contracts, our entities, our intellectual property, such as trademarking and copywriting, because that's so vital into going into business. And I strongly, strongly believe small businesses are more valuable or vulnerable than bigger businesses because we have so much more to lose if someone were to come and steal our property, our brand. And so it's multiple layers that go into that and I specialize in it, I'm very passionate about it. Um, and that's what I do. Okay. So they want to see you on TikTok. All right, y'all. Right, so I'm really tall in real life, so. <laughs> yes, she is, but we are going to get started, y'all. Uh, we'll come to a stopping point and I'll take attendance if you would like to be counted present. Feel free to shout yourself out. If you like to watch from the clouds and y'all know who you are, you are most welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'm so happy that Lauren has somebody very special to her who has a sweet tooth. And so she said, oh, Maggie, I need to learn how to make banana pudding. So I said, I know where to get a banana pudding recipe. So we are doing a recipe from Miss Cooking with Aisha's cookbook. So I'm gonna show you guys everything. You know how I do, we're gonna go step by step. But one of the first things I do in the uh, kitchen, I clean the counter, I wash my hands, and I get my uniform on. And speaking of uniform, Lauren is very beautiful, but uh, I think she needs a uniform. So I've got a few things here. I'm gonna let you choose. And I'm gonna assemble them for you. <laughs> let you guys see here. Shout out to, um, the Maggie merch link is in the description. I think I've even tagged it. So we have three colors here, a very bright yellow, a white or a gray. And I'm going to show you what the apron looks like. Cause I'm going to go ahead and put mine on. It's so many see. options. <laughs> Ooh. Because you won't find me on only fans, but you will find me on only pans. One of those is yours. So you can choose and I'll assemble it for you. And then we are going to get started. This is so cool. I think I'll go with the white one. Absolutely. So I'm going to assemble that for you. And uh, we're going to take attendance. Yes. So these aprons, you have to um, put the the little buttons on so the cute. on the tab one time. Oh, thank you, dear. But you all can see there is a Maggie merch store. There's t-shirts. There's all kind of stuff. So we have the only pants merch, and it is tagged in the description. All right. So we're going to take attendance, see who we have here while we put this together and get um, get Lauren all settled. Let me clean off the counters first, and then we're going to clean our hands, and then we are going to get started. Thank you. <laughs> you guys like that? Shout out to only pans. All right. So Lauren, do you like to cook? Do you know how to cook? Tell us about your cooking skills. So I do know how to cook. Okay. And I do like cooking. I don't get to cook often mm -hmm. because of my lifestyle. So tell us about your lifestyle. What exactly is a digital nomad? So nomad means moving around mm -hmm. and digital just means I work digitally. So I own my own firm and I work virtually. So that gives me a lot of flexibility um, prior to getting married and settling down with kids. I wanted to explore the world and just go out and be great. So I am a digital nomad. That means I move around a lot 
and I am, um, I, I'm intentional about it though. I don't just go to random places, but I am strategic in where I go and how I can get around. Absolutely. So I'm so excited. I'm going to put this together so everybody can see, but I want them to hear from you. So tell us, um, I, I put Lauren's website in the uh, chat so you all can see, and I linked it in the description as well. So you've got, active, you've got a few websites. You've got Activated Law, and then you've got The Legal No. Can you tell us or tell our scholars what The Legal No is? Absolutely. So the Legal Note is an online resource tool for startup businesses and solo entrepreneurs who have not um, gotten enough revenue in the business yet to actually hire an attorney, but they need a reliable resource to go and get legal resources and tools. So the Legal Note allows them to go on there and get contract templates, get legal courses where they can learn about it. And I saw one comment on here. It says law is different in there than in the UK. Ah, yes. Um, it is. So I am American-based, although I do international business law. So that means I um, this morning I had a consult with a client in the Netherlands. Right? Ooh. So we are working on her contracts and um, just polishing them up, making sure she's good. She purchased the template and had a couple questions about it. So um the templates are for anyone, no matter where you are in the world. I absolutely love that. And y'all, Lauren makes it really, really easy. Uh, we want to make sure the finishing school is our legacy and it long outlives us. And she's helped us get the structure in place so that our curriculum, our materials are, are ours. And it's really important. She's got so many templates. So you all, please check that out. All right. So what I'd like for you to do, my dear, hold that up where you want. I'm going to tie it behind your neck. And then it'll be tied at the length that you want. And then you can do it around your waist. And we are going to get. So <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you are all set. You want me to tie it or you got it? Thank you. All right. So now she looks official, y'all. Doesn't she look like a chef? Look at Chef Lord. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We got another attorney over here. Mr. CKB says, hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Mags and Ms. Biz Counselor. Um, Mr. CKB is a content creator and he has a YouTube channel talking about, I think, his legal journey as a student. So let me see if I can take attendance really quick, y'all, and then we're going to get started. So who do we have here? We have Crochel, we have Razonia, we have B.I. <laughs> Desti, we have Library, Kane, uh, hello Rasonia, hello Doomsday, hello D Ray, Mr. CKB, Nifex, we have Mo, Kevin, uh oh, there we go, Kevin. Again, as always, those of you all on Instagram, if you want to see the side by side, you know I have the full view on Maggie the Substitute Teacher.com. You can come to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter. All right, we're going to try and keep you guys here on the counter, but if you want to see everything. All right, now let's see. Whew, TikTok, you don't stop. Ricky, Straight, Jose, Bird, Regina, Patricia, Alfred, Viv, Handel, Zaid, Chloe, User, Veronica, Kelly, Marie, Karen, Brittany, Shirley, Forward, Safest, Teal, One, Jackie, Beauty, Madam, Mimi, Terry, Jean, Betty, whoo, Charlene, Ernal, Sheeny, Katie, Harry, no, yeah, Harry, Pat, Junelle, Shonda, Banshee, Candy, Crystal, Luxurious. Thank you, it's in a bag. Hello, Silly Jeff, thank you for the compliment. It's in a bag says you're so pretty. She's talking about Lauren, yes, absolutely. Um, is that the Breakfast Club? I don't know the question, Silly Jeff, OMG. You can't see Lauren, okay, I'll make sure she comes in, but y'all, we're trying. It's my little janky setup. Yes, you can come to my YouTube page. Yes, Lauren, mm -hmm. absolutely, thank you. You make homemade banana pudding, the old fashioned one from scratch. So yes, y'all, we are going to try. Yeah, I'm wearing sneakers. Y'all, I'm working hard. Thank you. I'm too cute with that super energy. Lauren, ha I have three great brothers. I see you are single. I'm not going to say anything. You can say what you want to about that. Hello, <laughs> Tina and Teal. Okay. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to be... I'm going to be bringing everybody I can into the kitchen. All right. Thank you all so much, TikTok. So I'm going to switch with you. We'll take attendance over here. Then I'm going to show you guys a video, but you can lean in for TikTok. All right. Who do we have here? We got Linda. Hello, Linda with the love notes. Jurgen from Germany. Hello, Geneva. Red Bunny Classic. Yeah, I'm dancing already. Y'all know how it is. Kilis is here. Mona says, hey, Maggie. Y'all are drooling. Thank you for liking the live stream. Everybody say hello. Hello, Valet. Hello, Christina. Blexicon, are you about to bake a banana pudding? So I forgot. Yes, but 
<laughs> we have two options and I put a poll on my uh, YouTube page. So Cooking with Aisha has two versions. She has a no bake banana pudding, which goes in the fridge to set. And then she does have a baked banana pudding, which goes in the oven for like 15 minutes just to brown on top. And I asked which one they wanted, the full size or the mini greedy. They said both. Yeah. So I'll show you guys both. I have ingredients for both. And we'll see what Lauren wants to do. If y'all want to do both, we can. Greg says, hey, everybody's saying hello. Yes, she is tall and lovely. Hello, mm -hmm. Lauren. Hello, everyone. Y'all are jealous. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Nice change of pace for law. Glad you were doing that. Yes. Can you tell us, Lauren, what made you want to do this category of law? Suki, Suki. Yes. So, fun backstory. I um, started my first business in college and um, it was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And so I've actually been an entrepreneur prior to being an attorney. And so I've always been hardwired for business and I knew I wanted to continue to pursue legal work within the business room. Mm, so you've been an entrepreneur since college. We got condemned as a new guest in our kitchen. Yes. I met Lauren in London. Red Bunny's here. Oh. BLJ says, get to it with the banana pudding. Yes, sir, we will. And if I need to ship one to you, I will. All right. Hello, hello, everyone. And salute to 10 Plus Sounds. He made our beautiful artwork. So he is my editor. You all know Thank him. You. Yes. <laughs> he made this artwork. Anything that you see that's professional, y'all know I didn't make it. Okay. So now we are ready. I'm going to pull up the video. Okay. So do you have a preference, Lauren? We have a no bake. And we have a bake. So I'm going to um, go over the ingredients and I'm going to show you guys the video. Well, first of all, do you want to make a full size first or a mini or? I think the full size first makes it easier to make the minis. Okay, absolutely. So it's two different recipes, but I think we got enough for everything. So we're going to pull up a Cooking with Aisha recipe that I saved you guys. I'm going to show you her cookbook too, because it's also in there. Y'all know I use my social media for everything. So let me find my saved recipes in here. Somebody asked a question on me. Yes, what's the question? Answer. No, go ahead, please. They asked how was it when the first time I took the LSAT. Um, mm, yes. I took the LSAT a total of three times. Really? I did. Oh Never be embarrassed about that. Wow. And I, um, I just had a score in mind that I really wanted to, <laughs> I really wanted to have and go for. And um, sometimes I didn't. Um, what do you say? Um, I didn't, you can, you can actually like not make your score count after you can have it forfeited. And so I forfeited my score the first time and then I took it one time and I wanted higher. They actually average your score depending on what school you're going to. So it really doesn't make an impact. Um, after the third time, I was like, y'all gonna get this score and that's gonna be what it is. Okay. So, so. <laughs> so for those of us that don't know, so obviously the LSAT, is your admission test into law school. Mm -hmm. Is there like a minimum score that you have to have or you just really wanted to get a better score than you you, you originally got? Yeah, I, I had a, I wanted, I think the highest, and this is if it hasn't changed, I've been out of law school now for almost 10 years, which means I took the LSAT now for at least another 10 years, not 10 years, five years before that maybe. Wow. Um, I took some time off after college before going to law school. That's a good thing. That's yeah, a good it thing. Was, it was good. I tried to run from it. I tried. I was like, I'm not going to law school. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, but Lauren and for the ladies that are interested in the finishing school, Lauren is going to be our confirmed guest speaker for our second intake uh, January, February class. So she's going to be session eight. It's January 24th. So she's going to talk about her journey being feminine in a masculine space and just all the things that are important if you're an entrepreneur and business protection. Hello, Christopher Williams. So you all stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're going to pull up Miss Aisha's recipe, but let me show you all the cookbook and then we're gonna get, actually, we're gonna get the ingredients out. So this recipe comes from Cooking with Aisha. You all know I've collabed with her several times. So I'm gonna show you the cover of her cookbook. One second. All right. Highly, highly, highly recommend home style cooking made easy. Cooking with Aisha. This banana, uh, banana 
I almost said banana bread. <laughs> banana pudding cheesecake recipe is in here, page number 44. So I printed it out and that's what we're gonna go with, all right? So Lauren, I have placed a grocery order and I'm gonna call out the ingredients and I would like you to get everything out and then we're gonna pull up the video and let Miss Aisha walk us through it. So we need two graham cracker crusts. Do you see two graham cracker crusts? Y'all greedy? Uh-huh. So I ordered several everything. I know TLA says don't go to law school, but you know what? Hey, to each their own. Okay. So you all will see in the video, um, Miss Aisha says that you can buy graham cracker crust. I did, or you can make them. Hello, Sinji. Thank you so much for being here. If you're going to make your own graham cracker crust, you would take graham crackers and put them in the food processor with a little bit of butter. Did you know that? I did know that. Okay. So yes, you can make your own graham cracker crust, especially if you all are doing like a small portion. If you don't need the huge pie, you can just pulverize them, but you all can see it's literally like graham cracker shaped into to the pie tin, okay? So we've got that. Now I bought, bought several different sizes. We have this 10 inch, let me make sure y'all can see. I just ordered everything. Then this one is like, um, I don't know, maybe a eight inch or something. So it's a little bit smaller. And then we have the little minis. So Cute. just showing you all some varieties. These are Keebler and I just ordered these either Walmart or Publix. So we are going to make the big one and then we'll also make uh, some small ones if you care about portion control. But holidays might be coming soon. If you want to make, excuse me, a, a pudding to take for an event, we're going to do the big one first. Okay, next we need one package of banana pudding mix. May I have that please? Hello, Shantia. Black Lexicon says, do you ever use cinnamon graham crackers to make that crust from scratch? Here's the thing, y'all. Y'all know I can't have this. This is not a sugar-free, dairy-free, or gluten-free recipe. This is a full flavor recipe. And so um, I have made graham cracker crust with my gluten-free crackers. Um, but no, I've never made it from scratch. But it's, it's not hard. What you would do, just so you all know, get your graham crackers put them in the food processor and uh, with butter, melted butter and whiz them around and then press them into the pan. All right. Do we have our banana pudding mix? We do. All right. So we have our jello. It comes in multiple sizes. This is the large size. Could you get the small one for me, mm -hmm. sweetheart? All right. So we're going to use the small one. I think this one says like family size, but you all can see there's different sizes here based on what you're going to be making. And I believe you'll hear in the video, Miss Aisha says we're going to use two of the small ones, but just letting you all know there are options. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we need two packages of cream cheese room temperature. Do you have cream cheese? We do. All right. So I bought Philadelphia cream cheese. Y'all, we are doing full flavor. Okay. This is not a dairy free recipe. We're cooking for a man. So we got to make sure that her man gets the full flavor. So we're using Philadelphia cream cheese. You all know I do the uh, dairy free, but I bought this and I've had it in the bag. So it's not um, cold, cold. The reason why is we're going to need to mix this. And so we want it a little bit soft. Okay. Hello, uh, eBay. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Next we need a half a cup of white sugar. Woo. Do you see any sugar in there? I see <laughs> some sugar. Y'all, it's so janky, but yes, this is real sugar. Uh, Cause it says sugar. Y'all know I'm usually sugar free. So I do sugar substitutes, but we are going to put real sugar in this um, banana pudding. Uh, when I'm cooking for others, I don't force them to have the kind of stuff that I have. So we are going to be using real sugar. Yes. Oh my goodness. Cream cheese. I know y'all <laughs> we're getting it and I'm going to taste it. Yes. I'm going to eat it. We're doing real dairy. We're not even done yet. And real sugar. I know. Yes. But wait, there's more. What else do we need? Now I'm going to get this. Um, actually, I think it's in there. Do we have whole milk? We do. All right. Yes. Y'all shout out for the whole milk. You can, there you go. Hold up underneath the camera. So we are using whole milk, um, not 2% like my almond milk. <laughs> um, we are going to be using whole milk to make this pudding mix. So you have that full fat and that full cream and that flavor. I like it too. I just can't have it every day. 
but I'm gonna have it today. <laughs> Jurgen is here for the thumbs up. Oh yeah, y'all. I know y'all just be suffering through my substitutes. You'll be all right. All right, now we need one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now I left that in the fridge, so I'm gonna grab that. And there's a reason why we are going to actually make our own whipped cream Ooh. from the heavy whipping cream. Shout out to Fancy. BLJ. Mm -hmm. We will be using uh, Kitchy. Um, and actually what I'm gonna do. Did you call it Kitchy? You have oh, yes. <laughs> Brandon L. Jet got us the KitchenAid, and so I have nicknamed her Kitchy. So later in the recipe to top the uh, banana pudding, we are going to whip our own cream, and so it actually whips better when it's colder. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, so you can actually put this bowl in the fridge or the freezer. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bowl in the fridge, and I'm going to show you all the heavy whipping cream. I've got it in there. I'm just going to pull it out so you all can see. So we will be using, this is just Walmart brand, but this is real heavy whipping, uh oh, real heavy whipping cream, not a dairy free. So with this being cold and then this being cold, when we whip the air into it, it'll stay stiff. So you have those stiff peaks. So that's why I kept this in the fridge. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Y'all are excited. Get you a Maggie. Just Oh, I get you, Maggie. Get you You're so Maggie. sweet. Black Lexicon says, for a minute there, I thought you might use eggnog. I've never heard of eggnog in banana. Me neither. Yeah, that is interesting. One I love of, eggnog, though. Oh, yeah. It's almost going to be that time. One of you says, hi. Christina says, yummy. Black Lexicon says, cinnamon, eggnog, banana pudding. Did I just make something up? <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> All right. So these two are going to go in the fridge until we're ready for the topping. Okay. Yes. So the bowl and the heavy whipping cream. You could also put it in the freezer. So let me put that in, oh, let me put that in here. So anytime you're going to whip up something that you want to stay kind of stick, uh, kind of thick, you can put it in the fridge. Silly Jeff is here for a good eggnog. Y'all are ready. All right. Eggnog it's cookies. Lesson. Tis the season. Tis it's, the it's season. Time. Yes. It's time. Mariah uh, is not falling off. I know. Honey Baked Ham sent me the brochure for the Thanksgiving uh, place your order. So yes. Hello, God gave me style. Thank you so much. All right. Let us keep going. What else do we need here? So we have our heavy whipping cream. Do you see any vanilla extract? Yes, ma'am. All right. So yes, we have vanilla extract. Perfect. So we're going to use the little McCormick. Vanilla is used in just about every baking recipe. If you don't like it, you can omit it, but we've got the vanilla, all right? And then the recipe calls for a half, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. Do you see? Ta-da! Yes, I got a whole lemon. If you guys don't have a, an actual lemon, you can use the concentrate. Be good with that. However, I love to give you guys the best. So you can use this for lemon juice in a pinch, but we are actually going to juice the lemon and get some fresh juice from here for the recipe. Nothing but the best for you. Baby. Nothing but the best for you all. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. Did someone say ham? Y'all are ready for Thanksgiving already. It's oh my time. goodness. Christina's cooking tonight. She made wings, artichoke, spinach dip, stuffed Yum. jalapeno, wrapped in bacon. It's your fiance's birthday. Happy birthday Happy to him. Birthday. Okay, and then lastly on the recipe, it wouldn't be banana pudding if we didn't have vanilla wafers or cookies. And it says optional. It ain't optional. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? We got, we got vanilla, vanilla wafers. wafers. <laughs> oh my goodness, take me back to my childhood. I had to get vanilla wafers, y'all. So we are going to top these on the ban uh, banana pudding, absolutely. I don't even really like banana pudding, but I love the vanilla wafer, so I am ready. I am ready. Okay, so we do have a recipe here, but I'm gonna go ahead and play the video, get this started. I'll move the ingredients out of the way so you all can- We're missing one thing. What are we missing? The most important thing. Oh, what are we missing? You can't have banana pudding without banana. <laughs> we gotta get some bananas up in here. Do we have any bananas? We have some bananas. Okay. Not to worry. We Sorry about some. that. Yes. We have some bananas. So in this recipe, the pie recipe, the bananas are going to be kind of like a garnish. So yes, <laughs> we have bananas too. <laughs> y'all like banana pudding? Okay. If you all like banana pudding, put some banana emojis in the chat. Go I... bananas in the chat, y'all. Go bananas. <laughs> Go bananas. Yes. 
I'm not really, I'm more of like a citrus. Do you like banana pudding? This is for the man. So we do what the men want, but do Listen, you like it? I actually love banana pudding. And so when I found out that he liked banana pudding, I was like, oh, how okay. do you like your banana pudding now? So we will make it. All right. So I'm going to pull up Miss Aisha's video and I'm going to play it like I do for you all. And y'all have nutmeg, silly Jeff. Yeah, I have nutmeg. Man, they are getting serious. I was wondering if y'all were going to use bananas. Dang, <laughs> y'all, I'm feeling like... This is my first time, okay? Have I ever made it before? No, but we're gonna do it today. Y'all like it? Oh, they love bananas. Let's okay. go, it's a fave. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't know y'all. Well then, let me shut my fuss. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. And let's get Miss Aisha. Uh, the ingredients, uh, because I list them. One like second, y'all. Uh, peaches. Hold Peach up, pop. I wanna get it. And a pudding. I want to try and get it full screen. There we go. All right. So let's move this stuff out of the way. We're going to pause, Miss Aisha. Make sure y'all. Today I'm going to demonstrate making my banana pudding no bake cheese cake. Okay. And if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen me make this before. So let's get started. All right. So what do we need? Okay. So for this um, version of my banana pudding cheesecake, I'm actually going to combine my two together instead of doing two layers. So clearly I need a bowl. All right. So it says here in one bowl, mix banana pudding mix with milk and set aside. So I'm going to bring you a bowl and the milk. How much um, is it just one pack of the banana pudding? Yes, we are doing one pack of the banana pudding. I'm going to wash my hands as well. Yeah, right? absolutely. We... Just so y'all know, we clean over here, right? Yeah, like, I don't absolutely. need y'all to see it. me wash my hands on the camera. Absolutely, absolutely. We want to make sure, because y'all know you'll talk about us. Lord have mercy. Yeah, you can use that. And then we need a cup of milk. So I'm going to let you do it. I'm just going to get the measuring cup. All right. So we got a bowl and we've got the one cup measure. So I'm gonna set that down here for Lauren. The recipe says in one bowl, mix banana pudding with milk and set aside. So I'm gonna let you do the banana pudding and then the milk and I'll swap with you. Go ahead. All right, since you're cooking for the man, there's your bowl. <laughs> Y'all like banana pudding without the bananas. Ooh, Condem puts banana in this smoothie. I like banana in the smoothie, absolutely. So you need a, let's see how she mixes hers. Is it just a whisk? Video, I did two layers. Um, what I have here is my banana pudding mix. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with some milk and I just use whole milk. And just make sure that your cream needs to be the room temperature or get it, you know, softened. Alright. Just wanna mix, mix this up really good. You just wanna mix it until, until it's blended well. Alright, so we're gonna get to that point. Y'all know we're slow, or I'm slow. Alright, so there's your whisk. And now I get to be the assistant. So you'll do the big one and I'll do the small ones. Okay. Alright. So this is your one cup measure, and we've got our uh pudding mix in there. So we'll just move everything out of the way until we need it so we have space. Because for this recipe, so you all know, the big one is the no bake. The big one is gonna go in the fridge to set, and then we'll do the uh, the one that we bake after. All right, so Lauren is doing her thing. All right, I will clean up. She's doing great. She's mixing that milk and uh, pudding mix. I'm gonna put this uh, in here. All right, so let's see what else she says. I'm sorry, you all can't see. Make sure pudding mix until it's blended well. And I mix it with one cup of milk, but I'll list all the ingredients. So you all don't have to worry about measurements or uh, the ingredients uh, because I'll list them like I did the uh, peaches. All right. Peach Ooh, it smells so good, y'all. Look at this creamy mix already. Hello, 46 feet. Hello, Janisha. And hello, West Bay. Ah, uh, yeah. Silly Jeff says canned milk is good too. Yes. You want a whole milk on this. You want a full fat, thick milk to give you that creaminess in your pudding, okay? Black Lexicon says the bananas make it irresistibly delicious. I hear you. And y'all like banana bread. All right, so we've got that done. Oh, that looks beautiful. Whiskey. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look how nice and creamy. Move that uh, whisk in there. Let's see those ribbons. Woo! 
<laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this out of your way. Okay. Next says, in another bowl, whip the cream cheese until there are no clumps. So we'll actually, let's see how she does. I think she does it by hand. This is the banana. She's putting in some work. Okay. <laughs> any brand, anyone you want to use, it's up to you, but I just use the small box, not the larger box. Okay, so are you okay to stir that by hand? <laughs> We're about to work. Let's All right. Do it. Let me give you a clean bowl. <laughs> From courtrooms to kitchen. Don't worry, BLJ. We're going to use. Could you pause that for just a second, sweetheart? Yes. We are going to use. Let me dry this off. The um, uh, kitchen for the whipped cream. But we're trying to do it like Miss uh, Miss Aisha's doing. So again, this is two packages of cream cheese and we're doing real Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm gonna let Lauren get in there and uh, mix them together. Hopefully, does it feel like it's pliable? Okay, yeah. There you go, there's your clean bowl. Let me get you another whisk so you can uh, get to work on that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me know if this Orleans. is okay. Ah, Quiet Storm says Lauren has upgraded from courtrooms to kitchens. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, look, I'm old fashioned. I don't care what we do, but like my mom told me, Maggie, you can <laughs> cook for your children. Who will cook for them? Okay, Bob. So here we go. All right, so we got cream cheese number one going in. I'll take care of your trash. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. And cream cheese number two going in. It's nice and pliable. Let's move the milk out of the way. Doing fantastic. I don't know if this little whisk is going to be much assistance for me. <laughs> okay, let me get you a big one. Like it's so cute, though. Rinse off. Ooh, we're gonna rinse off this one and get you the big one. Oh, this cream, this uh, banana pudding. I want to taste it. it. It smells so good, right? Okay, let's hold on. I gotta I'm rinsing this. Was whisking it. I'm rinsing this off, y'all. Um, kitchen snack. All right, so we're rinsing this off, and I'll just give it a quick dry so thank you, you can. Thank you. Get your uh, cream cheese. Let's see what she does with hers. Woo! Oh! <gasps> no! Hold up! We got an emergency. Okay, put it together. Let's see if that works. We got a um, $5 super chat. I'm gonna put E. Capone on the board. Let's see if you can get in there and get that mixed up while she's working on that uh, cream cheese. Thank you so much, E. Capone. I appreciate you for the $4.99. E. Capone wants one of the, um, some cream cheese shipped to him. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, <laughs> but happy to do that. Met him in California. Thank you for being the stream sponsor, $4.99. Um, stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold coins. I just appreciate y'all being here. So I'm gonna put you up on the struggle stream whiteboard. If y'all want to know how I got monetized so quickly, there's a coupon code for my course. How's it going, Lauren? You know, this whipped cream isn't really, um, or it's not, it's not whipped cream yet. This is the cream cheese. The cream cheese is creamy, y'all. It's not whipping. Okay. It's not whipping. To, it's uh, getting stuck in our whisk. We need uh, a little... You know what? Let's do this. Let's a wooden horn? Yeah. See if you can get in great. there with that. If not, we're going to do some elbow grease. All right. So thank you for the four ninety nine. dollars Doing it old school. <laughs> Is that any better? Um, I'm getting it off the whisk. We're gonna get in there in a minute. I think this will be a lot better. Though. Okay. We'll this. So we gotta cream this up so that it's gonna mix with our pudding. Let's see what Miss Aisha's doing. Okay. There we go. Okay. There you go. I'll take I'm this from you. Thank you. Half cup of 
little sugar. All right, so we're not there yet. We want to make sure and that we get it. And y'all, if your cream cheese is still refrigerator cold, you can put it in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds on like half power. But um, Lauren is doing her thing. Okay, yeah, now it's getting nice and creamy. Coming, Coming together? Coming okay. together. I'm gonna put this towel up underneath there because I know sometimes it makes a lot of noise. There you go, my dear. Thank you. All right, so Lauren has got the cream doing its thing. All right, now it says, whip the cream cheese until there are no lumps. Add sugar, vanilla, lemon juice, and mix well. All right, so I'm gonna bring the ingredients. You need a half a cup of white sugar. So let me go grab that. Yeah, this would have been no fun in the kitty. Is that the name of the mixer? Oh, in the, in the kitchen name, I call her Kitchy. Kitchy, <laughs> yes, Kitchy. She would have whipped this up in like two seconds. Yes, we are going to use kitchy for the uh, for the top, but we're doing it old school. So we've got a beautiful, I'm just going to lift, lift it up so they can see what you did. Yes. Lauren got that cream cheese nice and smooth so you all can see. All right, so you need a half cup of sugar. On the, on the mm -hmm. spoon too. Do you need to, uh, do you need a tasting spoon? For the whipped cream? For the cream cheese. Then, <laughs> shucks. <laughs> Yes, we're making banana pudding. I have a mixer, Mustafa. We're going to use it in a bit. Hello, Lucy. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Hello, I am Nick. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so this is a one cup measure, and you need a half a cup of sugar. So you're going to fill this up to the half cup. And so I'm going to give you the sugar okay. and let you take care of that. And then you are going to need vanilla. Let me get that for you. And... Our lemon, right? Oh, yes. And I will help with the lemon since I'm making you do real lemon juice. <laughs> so we're going in with real sugar, y'all. No substitutes. Real sugar. You like cheesecake? Oh, yeah. Do, 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 Y'all don't know who I am. Y'all don't know who I am. All right. She's pouring the sugar. She's pouring the Where sugar. Where I come from, we do, you know, just like a, a pinch or a little bit more. That's fine. <laughs> this is for your man. So Make that like, pudding. Go ahead. Put, put it all in there. A little extra sweet. Just a little tad. A little extra sweet. It's fine. Look. I agree. Yes, yes. yes. you yes. make it the way he likes it. All right, so we got our sugar. You're going to add that to your cream cheese. Yes. Perfect. And then you need a half teaspoon of vanilla. So we have a half teaspoon measure. And so this is for you. And do you have the vanilla? I do not. I took it. Here it is. All right. So I'll, I'll trade with you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. There you much. go. All right. And now I'm going to be working on this lemon over here to get you some lemon juice. All right. And for the record, just in case, you know, some in someone in particular is watching, Ooh, uh -huh. we are not claiming the man just yet. Right? Oh, We just okay. want to clarify. We, we don't want to scare the man. We don't want to scare him. Okay. I have a crush. Oh, see, that is so sweet. You have a crush. And to show how you feel, she's making banana. What is this again? Oh, banana pudding. Banana pudding. So what do you have in there? We've got sugar. Sugar, vanilla, extract. Mm -hmm. Our whipped cream, cream cheese. cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. And lemon now. Now we're going in for the lemon. So if you want to slide over, I'm going to just do some actual uh, lemon juice because for our crush, or for her crush, I like giving y'all the best. So I'm gonna rinse off this lemon. We're gonna cut it in half and juice it. And then I'll let Lauren measure that out. In the recipe, you need one and a half teaspoons. <laughs> all right? <laughs> exactly, make it for the children, Absolutely. for the kids. Absolutely, so yes, tell us um, about your, whatever you wanna share about family, any siblings? Do you like kids? Do you want kids? I love the baby. You love I the baby. I love them. Um, yes, so I have a lot of siblings. Oh, okay. 
I have four brothers. I am one of five, and I am the middle. I'm the only girl. Wow. So I'm okay. Just back in the middle, two older brothers, myself, and then two younger brothers. So, going into a masculine-dominated field and coming from a masculine-dominated home really added to my need for feminine. Yes. <laughs> guidance. So you're lot. comfortable around men. You know how they are. Mm -hmm. They're loud. They're rough and tumble, but we love them anyway, right? Of course. Absolutely. All right, y'all. So I've got a lemon here. I'm just going to roll it a little bit just to get the juices moving. And then we're going to cut it in half. And then we are going to uh, put it in a little container and let uh, Lauren put this in her banana pudding. A little bit of lemon. It's um, kind of a surprise to me. You all let me know. Um, did you know that banana pudding had lemon in it? But I think it makes sense because it's so like creamy. <laughs> We've got nice and juicy lemons here. Since it's so creamy, a little bit of tart is probably a good thing. So let me get a little bowl for you. And we're gonna squeeze that in here. So we get fresh lemon juice. we got a little Walmart juicer here. Hello, Christine. Ah, uh, yes, Lucy says, I think confessing a crush for someone is a huge compliment for a man. All right, Aww. somebody special, I hope you're watching. All right, ladies, if you're in Atlanta, you wanna learn how to cook for somebody special, I'm here. <laughs> so we're just gonna squeeze this. Actually, I'm gonna let you do it. Can okay. you squeeze into, Absolutely. I'm gonna let Lauren do everything. All right, yeah. squeeze it all the way down, perfect. And then you can switch out with the other one and I'll grab the rinds. All right. So you have fresh lemon juice. Perfect. That catches the seed. So I'll take that. And then I don't waste this, y'all. If I make tea or something, I'll put this in the glass. So we're getting fresh lemon juice for our banana pudding. Hello, Nana from Ghana. Ah, Aquaba. <laughs> I'm from Ghana too. Aww. Yes, welcome, welcome. Excellent. You did a great job. Mm -hmm. So now we have our pure lemon juice. So I'm gonna take this out of your way. Okay. So we have, oh y'all, it smells incredible. We have real lemon juice here. And for your recipe, you need one and a half teaspoons. So I think okay. you had a half teaspoon. Did I take it? Nope, I have it. Okay, so you'll do three of those. Okay. All together. And I'm just gonna mix that in. And blend it till it's all the way blended through. Okay, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and combine my pudding mix. All right, so now we've got our lemon juice in there with our vanilla and our sugar and cream cheese. So you'll want to mix all of that up. All right, that extra liquid should help it combine. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hello, E. Capone. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if you all need a recipe for a holiday party, you want to impress. Oh, a, my goodness. Smells good? Yes. If you want to impress a certain someone or a certain mother-in-law or future mother-in-law, ladies, here's your unsolicited etiquette tip of the day. As we approach holiday season, you all know we teach this. Never go to someone's house for the first time empty-handed. Always bring something, even if it's small, uh, just a token. So it could be a book, a table book, um, if they don't drink alcohol or wine, if they do, or a small box of chocolates, or just something to show your appreciation, okay? So there's your little unsolicited etiquette tip. Hello, Onye Omat. Thank you so much for being here. E. Capone says, do I plan on cooking during Christmas, Maggie? Great question. No. <laughs> we did this last year in all seriousness, y'all, since I cook all the time on the holidays, I have it catered so that I can actually enjoy with the family. And we'll talk about that as we get closer. All right. How are we looking? Ooh, that looks like a beautiful frosting. Let me show y'all what Lauren did. So we have this beautiful, creamy, I think it needs an inspection. We have this beautiful- <laughs> We can try it now. All right, let me get I some, like this. some tasting spoons. Y'all know we got to taste it. It looks really good now. All right, and then you're going to mix the banana pudding in there, but let me bring you. All right, a little cream cheese, yes. a little uh, lemon, a little vanilla. Oh man. Yummy. Oh my God. Ooh, and it's tart, y'all. Got me <laughs> right there. Ooh, it's so good. All right. So now she's mixing her pudding in with this. I'm going to bring your pudding to so you. We still have awesome. our 
put my spoon over there. Mm -hmm. Whipping cream to add. Thank you. I don't want to leave that out. Mm. I'm going to have to do that in a moment. Yeah, so we got our pudding. We're going to put that in there with the cream cheese and get it together. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised how easy y'all this is, and it's so good. Thank you, Miss Aisha. Mm -hmm. goodness, Let me get a, a spatula to scrape that up. We're not wasting nothing. Not a mix well. Go ahead and add in your milk. And stir that in. Okay, let's pause this. Perfect. All right, I'll take this off of your hands. So Ooh. now you're going to mix in your uh, pudding mix in with the cream cheese. So you have your banana, so you have your lemon, so you have your vanilla, so you have your all that good stuff going on. Yes, this is ladies night and I'm feeling right. This is ladies night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me taste this before I put it in the sink just to confirm that it still tastes like banana pudding. <laughs> then I'll bring some more spoons for this one. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got to try this one. We got to mm. try the combination. Okay, so you got it all combined. This is looking amazing, y'all. Let's take a look. Look at this. Look at this texture. It's creamy. It's banana-y. It's everything. I love right. the color. It's so pretty. All right. So two new tasting spoons. Let's see how we're doing. <laughs> yes. Look at that bowl clean. All right. So let's give it a try. How's your cheesecake feeling? And we're not even done yet, y'all. No, the best part, the whipped cream is my favorite part. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's like perfect. Wow. Y'all. It's sweet and creamy, but tart. The vanilla, the citrus, the oh, so good. Okay, focus, Maggie. This is when I get excited. That's good. It's good, isn't That's it? Good. Okay. Oh yeah. Teal Blue says, Maggie, I have an older brother for you. He would love you. Y'all have the same energy. That could be a problem. Can you imagine two of me? Woo! Teal is so funny. Teal hooking both of us up. He had three brothers. I know. And Everybody's trying to uh, get us uh, hitched. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so now I think, okay, let me just read so I can focus y'all because y'all know I'll be messing up stuff. So where are we? So we did in another bowl with the cream cheese until, uh-oh, it locked up on me. Hold up, it'll be back. Okay, until there are no clumps, we added the sugar, vanilla, and lemon juice, and we mix well, add the banana pudding, and stir well. Lastly, add the heavy whipping cream and stir until blended. Good. Heavy whipping cream, you need another cup. So okay. I'll rinse this out. Let's just make sure it's the liquid. And I do recommend that you add in the milk with the pudding mix and add in your whipping cream like I'm doing here. Okay. So now we're going to add. I just want to blend this. Okay. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't whipped. So we'll save Kitchy for the... Um, uh, for the meringue, y'all, because we're gonna, y'all are greedy. Y'all wanted both the large and the small. All right, so let me get your heavy whipping cream. Okay. All right. More dairy, more dairy, more Yum. dairy. So we're using real heavy whipping cream to go into the um, the mixture. We got O2, we got uh, Get It From Hilly. Black Lexicon says, adding that lemon is giving me cinnamon, key, lime, eggnog, banana pudding <gasps> vibes. Maybe not for the eggnog. We're not going to add this with that. Wow, eggnog. you will have me laid out. Now, Maggie. Maggie and Saison. Yes, y'all. I love it all. Your saliva glands are tingling. Y'all, this is so good. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All right, so we got a cup of heavy whipping cream going in. Yay. And then she is going to stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. Little darling. I'm so excited. Okay. So we got that. Let's see what Miss Aisha's doing. All right. So you get it mixed well. You can see it's combined very well. You definitely want your cheesecake, your banana cheesecake to be smooth. 
You need it smooth. Get it smooth. 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 Oh, yeah. Where's my tail? Okay. And all we have to do at this point, you all, is we're going to take our graham cracker crust. You can make your own crust, or you can buy the store bought. We're ready for the crust. We're ready for the crust. Okay. So let's pause here. Do you think we need one more taste with the whipping cream? Or oh, absolutely. We need one absolutely. more taste. We've we levels to this. Exactly. Levels. Gotta make sure at every level. Let me see. The quiet source is Lauren mixing that like the judge over oh, money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, two more tasting spoons. So, we tasted just the cream cheese. Then we tasted with the banana pudding. Oh, so yes. And now we're going to taste it with the pudding mix, okay? Ooh. I know. No, the heavy whipping cream. All right, so let's go in. Oh, Y'all, just look at that. Look at the texture. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take it's that. So good. Thank you. It is so good. Okay, so now pie crust. So she puts hers. In, and you just refrigerated a few hours. Uh, two small pie crusts, but you I think how you like it. Really, it'll be ready in an hour. But if you give it like up to three hours, it's really. All right, so I'll let you choose, Lauren. I think we have. Yeah, I think we probably should use the big one. Okay. So you could put all of that in there. Yeah, I bought two that. different sizes, but that way it'll be nice and full. So let's see how Miss Aisha does hers, Good. and I'll clean up. Go ahead and put it into our crust. You can see that it's smooth. You don't have no clumps. That's how you want it. All right, so let me open okay. the package for you to help. And let's do this. We got our Keebler Graham Cracker Crust. So I'm just gonna open this up. Yeah, she's working it. <laughs> just want to make sure it's extra smooth. We need it extra there, creamy like, and smooth. Yeah, you smooth. know the towel. All right, so y'all, I'm just going to take this plastic off so we can get this in here. Absolutely. We ain't playing no games, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's get this off. All right, so you all can see the beautiful graham cracker crust. And let's see. We're going to pour our mix. I'll set that here. Let me move this out of your way. Into our crust here. Can you pour uh, by yourself? Mm -hmm. I believe. Okay, I'll just. And move. I have another pie crust because this one is going to be mm. not enough room for all of our meat. You just want to smooth it out. Smooth it out. All right, y'all. You want to add your vanilla wafers at the top? You can. Okay, you so we'll get that in a minute. Let's get it pot put in there. And if you all heard while Lauren's pouring that in there. So Miss Aisha says you're gonna put it in the fridge since this is a no-bake cheesecake, about an hour. By the time we're done with our baked version, we'll, no, I don't think we should taste this because we want to present this one. So we, are we? Well, it's up to you. But anyway, you can put it in the fridge um, at least an hour, but she says by three hours, it'll be really set. So yes, you're taking this with you because I only have one one cheat day. Aw, they say Lauren looks cute doing that. She's beautiful. Hello, Michael oh, Wendy. Thank you. Black Lexicon says, don't do this, but I wonder what flavor would add a little cherry wine to it. Black Lexicon, <laughs> we got eggnog. I got beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, lamb, ram, <laughs> dog, chicken, turkey. You name it, Black Black Lexicon wants it. We got Schmier, hello, Kosoa, and HMS. Let's see how it's going, y'all. We're gonna have to scrape this bowl. Let me see. I got a um. Mm -hmm. Get up in there. Get all that. Get all that. Oh, that looks beautiful. I think she did a great job. So now we're going to decorate it. Once you get it scraped up. Absolutely. Get it all. You want all of it. <laughs> oh, we ain't done. We ain't done. We're making another one because y'all are greedy. Go check out my poll. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all. Look at this. Got it all nice and ribbony. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You did a great job. I'm excited. Cooking with Sir Senior says <laughs> three hours and it would be thicky thick. 
Yes. So we are going to put it in the um, in the fridge once she gets it decorated the way that she wants. And then we'll switch. I'm going to do the mini ones. So now you guys have seen how to make Miss Cooking with Aisha's uh, cheesecake. I'm just going to hold it up so you all can see what Lauren did so far. And then I'm going to take this out of your way. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I know. Okay. I'm going to bring you vanilla wafers. And would you like banana on this as well and vanilla, vanilla wafers? Well, let's see. What does she do? There's definitely enough mix to do too, so we should know that information. And we could just We're coming, calm down. Where are the banana slices at? Good Lord. They are definitely not. Okay, definitely. okay, I'll go ahead and start that. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and put ice in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. So So I'm going to, you know what, I'm gonna let you do it. I'm gonna let you decorate this cake how you want. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll keep one banana for this and one for the mini. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm over here cleaning, kind of. Mmm. Mmm. I might need to test the um, vanilla wafers. For quality control. I think so. Yeah, I think we need to. <laughs> I think so. I think I need to just taste one for uh, for quality control. Y'all know you want it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. We're going to taste this one. Yes, go ahead. It's going to mess up everything because we got a little pile. Okay, we got we got a little mess exactly. up. Exactly. Look at that. Yes. Perfect. We, we can't put that on the, on the pot. Yeah. So good. Oh my God, so good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Never mind me. Yes, 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 yes. So tell us about your um the, your favorite like banana pudding or who makes it? Do you have like a I do. Y'all ready? Yes. Y'all ready. Her name is Yubika. Mm. And she is a big sister figure to me. And she makes the best banana pudding I've ever had. Ever. May I have a knife, please? Oh, yes. yes. I'm sorry. I'm over here. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. Mm -hmm. You guys want to know a fun fact about bananas and peeling? So, we always peel from this end and struggle. And I saw a video like two years ago during the pandemic of how we're supposed to be peeling them this way because the apes, this pinch and peel oh. so easily and it's no struggle and none whatsoever it just pulls right off that's how they eat it and they just be chomping on bananas mm. who knew and so a little garnish thank you mm -hmm. yes because the pudding left on that spoon make a whole healthy why you think i'm over here mm. it would be in my stomach asap oh y'all y'all know i'm not playing this is a cheat day Go hard or, well, I am home, so I can't go home, but. Mm -hmm. Go hard and stay home. Yes, I think I need to make a little sandwich. Mm. Then I'm going to stop, y'all, because I don't want to go too crazy. This banana little... smells so good. Good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So while Lauren is decorating, I'm going to rinse out the bowls because we're going to put this one in the fridge and then we're going to go to the minis, okay? Round two. Mm -hmm. You doing all right? You're great. We're putting off the final pieces. Okay. How did she do, everybody? Looking great. Wow. Mm-hmm. Add walnuts, somebody said. Walnuts? Oh my goodness. Are they soft or crunchy? Um, the wafers are crunchy. Yes, the wafers the are crunchy. Um, I do have walnuts, but it's up to you. Do you. Well, not everybody can eat or wants nuts. Do you want anything extra on there, or are you? Because this is your. Not on this whole pie. Maybe we could do some walnuts on like on a, a mini, uh, on a bite or something. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, I'll look and see. I think I have. We're going to get real fancy, y'all, because I be extra. Oh, I yes. Be why, be, why be regular when you can be extra? Look at her. Oh, my God. Look at this, y'all. And we got to take a picture and a video. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Man, shout out to the presentation. That is amazing. Following the presentation. Gilly says, that's how we peel bananas where I'm from. I was laughed at when I came to the U.S. and did that in the college cafeteria. It is beautiful. It is very, very beautiful. What's going on? All right. So let's see what you got here. And uh, we will take a picture and then we will put it in the fridge. So we got a clean bowl. We're going to put, put this on the top. Right. So I'm going to show you all what Lauren did. It's falling. It's okay. Say Can I? One. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to tuck it into the pudding. There we go. That's, that was what I was going after. There we go. Right. Voila. So let me take this so you all can see. How does she do? How does she do? All right, so yes, please take a picture. Let me move the towels and, and all this stuff. Let me make a banana uh, <laughs> sandwich, greedy. And uh, take your pictures, and then I'd like to take a picture of you holding it, and then we're gonna cover it and put it in the fridge. Okay. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. All right, there you go. A beautiful work of art. Yay. Wow, wowzers. <clears throat> yes, get it perfect just the way that you want it. We're gonna take this piece off, it won't last. Okay. Slap on the right. They're clapping it up. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> the Quiet Sources Maggie found a presenter for her meals. I'm telling you, <laughs> she did a great job. All right, so what we're gonna do if you would lower it down just so there we go so we have perfect oh my gosh y'all look at lauren oh look at this isn't she adorable look at lauren <laughs> that is actually super cute I love that, that is photo. so cute uh -huh. yes you look adorable okay so now i'm gonna do some close-ups of this then we'll put the top on then yes. we'll put it in the fridge all right y'all she did cleaning up and prepping for you now oh my gosh y'all and she's helpful <laughs> hello hello dc all right so let me take some pictures of this you did great and it tastes great thank you miss cooking with aisha lauren nailed your banana pudding cheesecake so all we got to do is put the top on it and this is going to go in the fridge oh my gosh y'all i like the picture of lauren better all right then let me do a video all right, so tonight I am cooking in the kitchen with Lauren from Just For Lauren and Activated Law, and she made a beautiful banana pudding cheesecake using Cooking With Aisha's recipe. I am so excited. You did great. <laughs> she did great. All right, you guys, so this is cream cheese. We've got vanilla sugar, heavy whipping cream. We've got um, lemon juice and vanilla wafers, and of course, banana pudding filling. Enjoy. All right. So now, let's see. Take this off. I'm just gonna grab a little. Okay, and then you want to crimp that around, put it over top. Perfect. And then we will slide that in the fridge so it can stay out of the way. One down, one more to go. Oh, you did excellent. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm a little much. Hello, Iris. Thank, Thank you so much you for guys. being here. I should have a sparkly gown. Oh my goodness, yes. We're, I'm gonna take Maggie's gown and bedazzle it. That's a good thing. This is your apron. You get you to keep this. Yes, bedazzle the apron. And then and you have to have me back, and I have a bedazzle. Are you me. kidding me, y'all? So tell us why you're in Atlanta. I know you're a digital nomad, but tell us what brought you here and why you probably will be back. 
Yes, so I am here. I have a speaking engagement. I'll take this for you. I'm, thank you. I am presenting on how to monetize your legal assets. Ah. Sounds like boring stuff, but baby, I'm nothing. Nothing close to board. Okay, so it's amazing. It's gonna be a great, so great um, conference. I'm presenting at the Black Spot Expo, Ooh. sold out event hosted by my awesome, awesome, beautiful, lovely. You have to tell me about your massage, by the way. Yes, I need to. Oh my gosh, y'all! I gave her a massage by the host of the event because she's that amazing, and I wanted her to experience all the awesomeness of it. So Lauren treated me to a massage. She's here speaking at the Black you said Black Spa Expo, mm -hmm. and I said I love a good spa, and so she treated me to a spa. I had an amazing time. I promise I will get it done this weekend. Um, I took pictures and videos. I need to put a little recap together oh my goodness, for you. That's Absolutely. I just, I just wanted to know how it was. I just... It was amazing. It was amazing. She's an incredible awesome. blessing. Yes, yes. When Black Lexicon said, if we could reach through that screen, that part would be snatched already. That's how good she did. She did a great job. So I'm very, very yes, proud of you. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes, Lauren delivered. Next time she should have a sparkly go uh, gown. Yes, she is. <clears throat> um, ooh, y'all better hurry up. I'm telling you. Hello, Maria. Okay, so we're going to finish this one. Actually, we'll pause on the large uh, banana pudding. And now we're going to move to the small ones. Okay. And I will become your assistant. Yes, so I'm going to make the minis because y'all are greedy. I asked if y'all wanted the large mm -hmm. or the small or both. Team Greedy. Mark has a uh, question. Marky says, learn how to cook. Yes, that's why we are here. Absolutely. Okay. So let us go back to my saved videos and we're going to pull up uh, another recipe from Miss Cooking with Aisha. Same ingredients, just a little bit different technique. Okay. So y'all, I'm going to have to open up the, the oven. <laughs> and empty it um all right so let us play this today i'm making baked banana pudding cheesecake very simple and easy you all have seen me make the no bake so now we're going to do the bake version okay and i am going to do the individual sizes okay yes I got those for you. okay so you'll notice in her recipe she's using the little ramekins you guys so i'll show you what those are um, I do have six of these. So if you want to make this recipe, you'll see, you guys see me using these for ingredients all the time. Maya got this for us. If y'all want to get any, um, uh, anything off the teacher's wish list, I have an Amazon wish list, but Maya had these sent to us. It's a six pack of ramekins from Amazon. So you'll see Miss Aisha do hers in this, but I found these at Publix. So we're using the little mini graham crackers for the um, for the baked ones. So I'm gonna go ahead. And Thank you, dear. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and mix together my milk with my banana cream mix. Oh, so man, now it's my turn. Okay, y'all, let me get um, the bowl and the whisk. Okay, thank you. So we need this. All right, I rinse out our bowl. Yes, I'll start. I'm, I washed out this one, so okay. I'm gonna start with that one. I'll mm -hmm. get this up and running. Let me grab this and go. Thank you. It's in the door. All right, oh, y'all, I got an assistant. So I'm using the little small pack of um, banana okay, pudding. So once you get your banana pudding. All right, so let me go ahead and open this and put this in. <laughs> oh yeah, Tim Plus Sounds is already, you're gonna have a new thumbnail once my editor gets done uh, with that picture. I need to send it to you, right? <laughs> Template sound. Go ahead and send it to you. All right, so we're putting, this is just Jell-O banana cream pudding mix. You guys can get the Jell-O brand. You can also get like Walmart brand. So we're putting that in the bowl. And the recipe calls for, same recipe. So one package, I linked this in the description, one package of banana pudding mix and one cup of whole milk or canned milk. So we've got full dairy, y'all, all right? So I have some Borden whole milk and we've got a one cup measure. So we're gonna pour this in here 
and stir it up. Y'all, Lauren is washing dishes. Look at me. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, got a good woman here. I'm just saying, don't let me. I'm fixing up everybody. <laughs> you get a woman. You get a woman. You get a woman. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let me get my little whisk. <clears throat> And I'm just going to mix this up so that our banana pudding and milk can incorporate. All right, let me move this. Let's see what else she does. That texture, I'm gonna go ahead and set it aside. Now I have my cream cheese here. I've already added my vanilla extract. I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. And I'm also gonna add my sugar. Okay, I'm not there yet. Y'all know I'm slow. So let me mix this so Mine's nice and creamy like Lauren's was. I don't want any have any lumps in here. Hello, TD Brown. All right, thank you. Ah, look at that, y'all. She's bringing everything over. I feel like a real chef in the kitchen. I got an assistant. Yes, chef. Yes, ah! chef. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. There is a towel there for drying if you want to use that. All right, y'all. So I'm just kind of getting the lumps out of here. This is just straight banana pudding mix and um, milk. So we just want to get that kind of incorporated. Beautiful. And then I'll just set this off to the side. Man, she's washing dishes, y'all. This is wonderful. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, focus, Maggie. All right. So now we're going to move on to the softened cream cheese. So I'm going to set this behind me so I don't mess up, but this is, this is done. So we'll come back to that in a moment. So for the cream cheese, again, y'all, we're doing real dairy. So I have two more packs of Philadelphia. And you see in the recipe, we need two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, room temperature. Okay, so you want to take these out so that they can soften and you can get in there and mix them up, all right? So literally, you can see how easy it is to squeeze them. So I'm gonna get these opened up. We're gonna dump these in the bowl. So no substitutes today. Hello, Jay. We are doing full flavor, all right? Full flavor cream cheese. You know you want it. <laughs> All right, so we've got one, and then we got one more. You can do, um, you know, store brand if you want to. You can also do the Nupta Chill cheese. That one's um, a little bit lesser fat. I learned that from cooking with Pam. That one is mixed with milk instead of cream. But y'all know, anytime I do a recipe for the first time, I always do it their way. And then you could doctor it up. Uh, what did uh, Black Lexicon want? Cinnamon and um Nutmeg. christina wants uh walnuts so yeah y'all can have it your way burger king all right y'all right. lauren is over here drying Hello. dishes thank you all right so we're gonna put our cream cheese our soft cream cheese in there there's one and then one more I don't get to eat this stuff. I just got to taste it for quality control. Hmm. Okay. All my tasting spoons. We got to wash them. We got to clean them. So okay. We have more. So we have our cream cheese. And what did she say she put in there? I think she put in the sugar. Okay. We need to, um, I need to whip this until there's no um, lumps. This has already been washed. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. So I'm just going to get in here with a little rice cooker paddle. And we just want to get in here with our cream cheese. Like the judge owe me money. <laughs> Hello, DJ. Go, DJ. There's our DJ. Go, DJ. There's our DJ. <laughs> Two for one, whooper promotion. <laughs> All right. So you can see the cream cheese was nice and soft. So now we've stirred the cream cheese. There's nothing else in here. Add sugar, vanilla, and lemon juice. How much sugar? Was it a cup? Half, yeah. Half cup. Half cup. Half cup of sugar. All right. So we're going to get this and 
real sugar, y'all. Dixie Crystal. Shout out to the cell. All right, so I'm just going to pour. And here's a hack, y'all. Pour over the sink or pour over your container so that in case you spill a little bit, it goes in. Now, I have a little bit more than half a cup. You'll be all right. So <laughs> put my sugar in there. Uh, thank you, Jay. I love you, too. Hello, schools. Hello, Thomas. He says, I absolutely love you and your content, Miss Maggie. Keep doing your thing. This is, this generation needs you. Thank you. That means a lot. Aww, I'm, he Aww, I'm here for the youngins, y'all. I got these two rusty boys. Shout out to my son. But um, I don't have daughters, so this is, this is my heart. Okay, so we added some sugar in here. All right, so we haven't stirred that up yet. We need sugar vanilla and it was just a half teaspoon of vanilla extract so oh, y'all it's right here lauren has washed it it is ready half teaspoon so we're going in with the vanilla extract gives you just a little bit of smooth creaminess in your uh cheesecake pudding whatever this is all right so we're going in all right vanilla is good and just about everything all right, so we've got that. <clears throat> oh, I need to grab that. And then one and a half teaspoons lemon juice. Can I have the uh, teaspoon measure again, my dear? Mm -hmm. All right. So we squeezed a fresh lemon. So we're still going to, we're just going to use the same ingredients. Thank you, sweetheart. Y'all, it's washed and dried that fast. Lickety split. <laughs> All right, so struggle math. One, two, three half teaspoons is one and a half. All right. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. I think it's the lemon. It's that just, the lemon. The lemon just ties it all together. Woo! So, so good. All right, so we have sugar, we have vanilla, and we have um, cream cheese. All right. Stir and mix well. Mm. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's get in here. Put the bowl on here. I know it makes noise on the counter. Oh, yes. Get up in there. Get it all incorporated. So I'm looking. So see where some places I still have some white streaks and some yellow. So I'm just mixing it up to make sure I have like banana pudding. I don't have um, the cream cheese just kind of laying around. And adding the um, sugar and the Lemon juice gives you a little bit of liquid in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's so good. Y'all can see that? Oh yeah. Oh, the taste is we're doing a fabulous job. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank y'all for sharing. Hello, D Maddox. Okay, so now I think we're at that point. Let's see. I wanna add your measurements accordingly. I do have a banana pudding cheesecake recipe already online that you all can download. Or we did the sugar, <laughs> but um, you know, go and get the. Uh, Do you want to go over here? I you. my bananas. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up. Once I go ahead and blend my cream cheese. Okay, I need to cut up my bananas. Cups here and put them on in the oven. Oh, thank you. Okay, you all. So now it's time for us to layer our pudding in our little cup. So. First, I'm gonna put some bananas at the bottom. All and right. I'll just do a few of them on camera so you all can see. So let me go ahead and do that. I don't know if she's uh, mixed them in yet, but let me go ahead and peel the Lord way. Pinch and peel. It's so much easier. It is so much easier. It's clean. It just comes up. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice everything and slice off that little bit. And I know she's doing hers in ramekins, but I'm going to go ahead and do it in the, um, oh, you know what? And I need to turn on the oven, which means I need to empty it. <sighs> Y'all, it's so greedy. All right, so we're just going to I used to cut the boys' fruit for them. 
Oh my God, Black Lexicon says I have banana scented cologne. You are doing the most. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's see. We have these little mini crusts. They're a little bit smaller. Actually, they're a lot smaller than the ramekin. I'm feeling greedy. Okay, y'all, I'm going to play the video one more time so you all can see why this is so important. Please, everybody put MTR in the chat. This is the first time that I've seen him in my stream. You all know, I know you all know that um, I met MTR and Melanie King and Lauren in London. Yes, MTR is over on YouTube. Y'all come say hi. And um, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Having a fangirl moment. Very, very grateful. And we are making, I'm going to show you what Lauren made, but uh, I want to show you all the video one more time, just in case you didn't see it. Um, after I had left London, MTR and Lauren had wonderful things to say about me and it's pinned on my Instagram. So let me just show y'all, then I'm going to show you what Lauren made. To that respect question that there's a certain behavior of women that deserves more respect right like of the women one and one that comes out is maggie the substitute teacher who's great yeah. with her presence this past week you sit and you talk to maggie for like a little bit maggie was up in the kitchen for, for 12 damn hours and i'm not saying that you gotta be up in the kitchen but she came in to a place that she was unfamiliar with and graced it with feminine ease and presence her influence so right. with it feminine ease and presence guess what as a man i am biologically driven to protect that biologically and she right like it. She just so it it gracefully just, just it comes off of her. Just afterwards, I went up to her and I was just like, "Oh my goodness, I love this. I want I want to be a part of this one program." So that was um, the kind words that Lauren and MTR said about Can me. I apologize. Oh please, I'm gonna get you. Uh, Listen, bye. I need to apologize because I cut you off in that video, MTR, and it makes me cringe. And rewatching the replay, how did you know I'm, you cut him off? Because I've been working with Maggie on my feminine methods in my ways and so i just wanted to apologize for that because ooh, i am sorry. so i let me hold on let me have a moment <laughs> i am so proud of you Thank i you. am so proud of you that is beautiful and just y'all we're not perfect and we can all get better and i have such a heart for our young sisters and for you to take that opportunity to remember the coaching that i gave you and act on it in real time Shout out to Lauren. So Lauren made, this is in the fridge. I'm not gonna take the top <laughs> off, but MTR. Lauren made banana pudding cheesecake. So this is the no bake. We're getting ready to make the bake version, but she wants to learn how to cook for a certain somebody. So I'm teaching her. So I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for accepting. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. All right, y'all. So back to the snacks. MTR is in the building. I can't even say it like he did. MTR in the <laughs> building. I don't have it. I can't say it with my chest. I, I, I can't. I probably shouldn't, right? Okay. So now we have our little graham cracker um, little cups here. And you see her. Uh oh. She's putting the banana in the bottom. So we're going to do the same. Let me turn the volume up so you all can. Individual cups here and put them on in the oven. Okay, you all, so now Could it's time for us to layer one? our pudding in our little cups. So first I'm gonna put some bananas at the bottom and I'll just do a few of them on camera so you all can see the layers that I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna pause. So I'm gonna do this so you all can see in real time. You like the baby pie crust? Yes, so we are going to assemble this and then this version of the recipe is going to go in the oven and we're actually going to whip up a meringue that's going to toast brown in the oven and then that's the one that we are going to taste. So you get a little graham cracker, you get a little banana. MTR, do you like banana um, pudding? But I know MTR is gluten free. So if you like banana pudding, I can make one for you with a gluten-free graham cracker crust. I have uh, crackers that are gluten-free. And uh, if you need any other substitutes, we can definitely do that. All right. 
Uh, yes, and I think I'm going to do one in here okay. just for tape measure. Yeah, That's just so to cute. compare. All right. All right. So we've got that, and then we're going to fill them up. Put a few bananas, and then I'm going to put. And we're going to need some milk. Some of our vanilla wafers. I think I'm going to skip vanilla wafers because she's going to do a couple layers, y'all. Oh, uh, Wilbert says, check the, the cash app. Okay, let me check, Wilbert. <laughs> I think I'm going to skip the vanilla wafers because, um, well, I'll put one in, but these are so small, y'all. I'm going to have like a little, <laughs> oh, wow, this looks yummy. MTR and TLA can make an appearance in my cooking show and make them wash some dishes. That'll be the day. I would love to have them here from your lips to God's ears. Okay, so let's do a few cookies. If you would just give me a paper towel, please. I'm gonna pour some out. Oh, Wilbur said, check the cash app. Hold up. I'm over here over um, excited about, you all know him and you love him. We have a new stream sponsor at $20. Wilbur says for he's a star. But sorry, MTR, <gasps> you outbid MTR. Well, first of all, hold up. I was so excited. I didn't even put MTR on the board. Okay, Wilbert, <laughs> you will go on the board. I have to allow me y'all. I gotta put MTR. Thank you, E. Capone. <laughs> I'm gonna put MTR on the board. Then we're gonna dress our pudding and then I will put Wilbert, but I, I need to, for me, put MTR up on the struggle stream whiteboard before Wilbert outbids him. I just have to. Somebody screenshot this. This is a big <laughs> deal. Hey! Okay. All right, let me get a paper towel. Thank you. I'm gonna get the photo for you. Oh, thank you. I know she wants this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Wow, MTR is in the building. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, one second, y'all. All right. All right, I'm gonna get you in the camera smiling. Why don't I tell you thing? I'll read out, actually. <laughs> Doing good. Where's my marker? There it is. Let me get twenty dollars for none other than M T R. Can y'all believe it? Oh my goodness. Yes, you know Wilbert. Y'all know Wilbert. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the marker off my hand, and then we're gonna put a little bit of cookie on here. Let me pause that. All right, let me wash my hands one moment, dear. All right, if y'all have any questions for Lauren, if y'all have any, I can't say legal questions, legal information, because you can't give legal this advice. Is not legal advice yes. counsel. She is not your attorney, but if you have questions about law school or anything like that, maybe she can. Or general questions. I can answer questions in general. I cannot answer them specifically. There you go. All right, so while she's doing that, I'm just putting a vanilla wafer since these are so small because we're going to do a couple layers you guys on here all right and then in here i'll do like three <laughs> since we have more surface area all right let's see what miss aisha is talking about <coughs> i'm sorry would you like i'm just gonna say oh let's get the sound And I think what I'm going to do is mix my pudding with my cream cheese filler. Okay. So I'm going to combine these two and then we're going to add it in. All right. So we're going to do that as well. So we have our banana pudding and we have our cream cheese filling. And since this bowl is bigger, I'm going to go ahead and put the cream cheese in here. Hello, PT. Hello, Big. Hello, Jacqueline. Cassante. Simply. Thank you all so much for being here. All right. So let me get another little scraper. 
because y'all know we are team greedy. We're not going to let anything go to waste. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we've got our banana pudding here. I'm just going to scoop it all in with the cream cheese. Y'all see, since we use whole milk, it is nice and thick, but still I'm going to, you know what? I might need some help, Lauren. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> don't, don't laugh at me, but uh, we are going to bake these in the oven for like just 15 minutes so the top will brown with the meringue because I still got to make the meringue. You want to move some of this? Up? Well, I use my oven for storage. <laughs> they said it's Lauren breaking a sweat. I thought that's what I got. <laughs> I got her working, working, working day and night. Y'all, look. I don't sweat. I glisten. <laughs> and there you go. I'm a woman of a particular age, so I get hot. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, she is doing amazing. Y'all, she's working over here. All right, so let's get this in, and we're going to mix the cream cheese and the uh, banana pudding. If you would please be a deer. Absolutely. If you would open my oven, there are lots of pots and pans in there. <laughs> if you would just take them to the kitchen table and then turn on the oven. And I think she does 350. Sorry, y'all. It's janky. Okay. I got good pots that I use for y'all. And then the kids get the, the janky stuff. So same thing. I'm just looking at their streaks of yellow. I'm just trying to get that mixed up. In here, we have cream cheese, we have vanilla, we have lemon, and we have sugar, and we did the milk. Yes, we did. I'm just saying, we didn't do the um, heavy whipping cream, did we? Okay, so I just blended my pudding with my um, cream cheese. So now I'm just gonna scoop it in on top of those bananas and those cookies in both cups. And next we're gonna add another layer of our banana and cookies and then we'll add our meringue top. I'm just checking y'all, just to make sure I didn't miss, miss okay. it. And I, some bananas at the bottom and I'll just go and flip and get the uh, measurements. Over here I have my bananas, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up. Once I go ahead and blend my cream cheese. and Because I know on your version, we did heavy whipping cream mm -hmm. and milk. I think on this version, she just does the milk. I'm going to get them into our individual cups here and put them on in the oven. All right. Well, we're going to get them together. Okay, you all. So now it's time for us to layer our oh, yes. 350, I pudding think. in our little cups. So first, we're going to put some bananas at the bottom. And I'll just do a few of them on camera so you all can see the layers that I'm doing. So we'll put a few bananas and then I'm going to put some of our vanilla wafers. We might need some uh, more ramekins, but these are going to be, oh Lord. And I think what I'm going to do is mix my pudding with my cream cheese filling. So I'm going to combine these two. And then we're going to add it in. Okay, so I just blended my pudding with my um, cream cheese. So now I'm just going to scoop it in on top of those bananas and those cookies. In both cups. And next we're going to add another layer of our banana and cookies. And then we'll add our meringue top. All right, we're just going to do cookies. I think we, have, we do have a okay, little bit so of banana left. My, I'll do another little bit of banana. Y'all, these are overflowing. Oh, boy. All right, let's get that on here. Thank you, dear. Welcome. All right. Thank you. So we will... <laughs> it might be more like a garnish. I'll try and cut them thin. So everybody gets a little bit. All right, so let's do some more cookies. Oh, yes, thank you all. Y'all, please check out Mediocre Tutorial and Reviews. Has been on fire. He's always on fire, y'all. He talks about pop culture. He also has a course on masculinity. Um, I talked to MTR 
quite a bit in London and uh, he's popped up on my IG before, but never my, um, my YouTube. So I'm so incredibly grateful that he stopped by, but he's very passionate about men keeping masculine frame. And, you know, we compliment that. We are not men. We are not equal. We are equally valued, but we are very different. And so I absolutely have a lot of respect for him and uh, so grateful to see him come through here and all of y'all. Um, but I, I'm just Y'all know this little cooking channel. I was like, ain't nobody gonna care what I'm doing. And y'all are here all the time. They look so cute. Do they look cute? All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. I'm just gonna tuck some bananas in here on the sides. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go ahead and put some banana. Now we're not yet done on this version i know y'all we're gonna make some meringue and we're gonna use kitchy for that all right uh oh let me tuck that in oh y'all need to come eat this um <laughs> this cheesecake what in the world all right so i'm gonna show you all how to make a quick meringue we're gonna move these behind. Y'all hear Lauren over here washing dishes? <laughs> All right, I'm running out of banana, so I'll just put one there, one there, and one there. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we've got some left over, but it will be all right. Wilbert, did someone say cheesecake? I didn't forget about you. All right, y'all. So on her recipe, you're going to see her put a little bit of meringue on top of these and then put them in the oven. Lauren has preheated my oven and emptied it. So we're going to bring Kitchy over here. I'm going to put some egg whites and some sugar in so you all can see how it whips up. We'll put that on top and then we'll put them in the oven. Yum. So everything is coming together. So let's just move this. I'll just, oh, lost the banana. So you all can see what we have so far. The, oh, these are little minis, but they're kind of big. <laughs> but that's okay. They will be fine. All right. So you all know we have incredibly generous um, scholars in the community. Brandon gifted me with a KitchenAid I affectionately call Kitchy. So let me grab that and the bowl and the egg whites. So this is optional. You could do whipped cream if you wanted to, but in her recipe, you're going to see she's going to do meringue. Second layer there. And I'm just going to add a little bit more pudding to the top before I add my meringue on the side. All right. So and your meringue just consists of your eggs, and your sugar, your egg whites, and your sugar. Okay, so we're we're gonna get the bowl. Yes, thank you. Oh my gosh, y'all! I have an assistant. This is incredible. Yes, yeah, so our bowl is nice and cold. Ha! Huh? Very cold. So we're gonna put this in. Let me just move these. Y'all know I'll be knocking stuff over. Carton Yeah, let's do the carton egg whites. Just to can I have the small ones? Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you, dear. All right. So you can crack and separate the whites and the yolks. The hard part is done, y'all. So I just have some horrible egg whites. So we're gonna put these into the bowl that's cold and um, whip them until they froth up. Y'all know I'm not strong. Yes, please help. <laughs> Black Lexicon says, all you would have left is half a banana slice on the cooking board. Black Lexicon is trying to eat. All right, so let's put Kitchy together. First, let's open. Thank you so much, Brandon Elgit. Let me unplug that. All right, lock that into place and let me get the whisk. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay, put that in. All right. So I'm just going to pour how much? Maybe like that much. 
just so we can get some air in there. If you could put the top on it. All right, so just liquid egg whites. I'm gonna turn this on. And you're going to see it's going to get foamy and frothy and then it's going to turn white once it starts getting kind of frothy then we'll put some sugar in there and then we'll put that on top lock it and turn it on and we're going to go to high and then what i'll do if you could get please dear one of the baking sheets and we'll put these on here and i'll get the parchment paper Place them on the parchment paper. Yeah. You see all the goodness overflowing here? So now watch, we're going to put that on top, just like Miss Aisha. Let me get a spoon. Okay. Okay. She's extra She's layering it up. This frothy, sweet meringue on top of all of them. That one could probably get another layer. I'll do one more layer. Okay. Can y'all see? We're just topping these on here. This is optional. You don't have to do the meringue. You could do whipped cream. You could eat it plain. This does have liquid egg white. So you do need, if you're going to do the meringue, you do, you do need to put it in the oven. However, if you're not doing the meringue and you're just doing like whipped cream, that one's going to overflow, but it will be all right. All right, y'all. Let's get up in here. Oh my gosh. And oh my word. That's a big one. All right, I'm going to put, we're out of banana. Lexicon ate all the bananas. <laughs> Gilly says I haven't been so eager for tasting time. All right, y'all, 15 minutes. So while these are in there, just enough for the brown. All right. So we'll do this last of this meringue. Once you do uh, meringue, you do need to go ahead and bake it because you can see the air is starting to foam out. You don't want it to be too, too runny. All right. Is she opening the oven for me? Hi! All right, I want to make sure y'all see. So this is what we have going in, all right? Y'all see? This is what we have going in. All right. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> okay. 15 minutes. Look at my assistants. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to put those back in there. We'll set the timer. And we are... 
done. So I'm going to clean up. Start. Okay. So I'm going to clean up now. Lauren, it's up to you. You have a pie. I want you to take the other pie. I think I want you to take a whole uh, pie and the extra pie crust and whatever ingredients I have. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Oh my gosh, y'all. I forgot to drop the link. I should have dropped the link when MTR was in here. Y'all, I just get so excited. How did y'all do? Let's give Lauren some feedback. I know she did incredible, but in case anybody wants to chat, there's the link, camera on or camera off. We are just cleaning up. How do you feel about your banana pudding making experience? I feel great and I'm really excited. I can't wait to try it. Yes, 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 now, yes. You know, we're trying to slim up and, you know, look extra, extra fine. Exactly. we got to keep this weight off, y'all. Y'all know it's a struggle, so we can't be eating everything all the time. I know. But we do have to taste for research purposes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, you can take those. I'm going to give you this bag. So those are for you and the pie crust. <laughs> yep. And, oh, yeah, I'm sending you home so you can be straight. <laughs> Some extra <laughs> banana pudding. Mm -hmm. That's for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to so clean funny. up. Thank you. No, we got to make sure we send them home. Uh, Angeli says, I'm lost. Who's MTR? Oh, MTR is Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. He has a YouTube channel, Strong Brother in the Community. He has content, uh, men-centric uh, content, and just uh, we met him in London, and he's been incredible. Thank you so much for the support. Hello, Detroit. Nate says, the way to his heart is his stomach. Yes, yeah, so what other meals are you... Um, <laughs> prepared to make more and I'm gonna move this to you. What, what's your specialty? My specialty, my favorite food is Italian actually. Okay. And my specialty is a, um, what is the name of that sauce? Alfredo? No, it's a vodka, it's a vodka cream vodka sauce. sauce. I do Italian stuffed shells with a vodka cream sauce and it is highly recommended. Ooh, my friend. tell me, this sounds, wait, wait a minute, hold on y'all. What with the vodka cream sauce? You want me to come back and make that? Yes, come back. Y'all want Lauren to come back, right? Hello, Dr. Hussein. So say that one more time. A what? Yes, so they are stuffed shells with the vodka cream sauce. What's inside the shells? What's the stuffing? So I use ricotta cheese, ground turkey. My preference, you can use something else. Um, but it's actually really light and fluffy with the ground turkey. I've tried it with beef and wasn't a fan. Um, I use spinach. And we season that up. We put them in the huge, big stuff shells. Season that up. And then I make my own. Not from scratch, though, y'all. I mean, I could. I, I know in this kitchen we're going to make from scratch. So I, I will make it from scratch. But sometimes I, I've mixed my own sauces from other stuff in the past that everyone Absolutely. Wants yes, yes, Ooh. yes. Absolutely. That sounds amazing. It's really good. My girlfriend from... Um, from college, she married with kids and stuff. Now she's like, "Hey, can you just make me some of those stuffed shells and freeze them and ship them off to me?" <laughs> Hello, stuffed they shells with turkey and spinach and cheese and vodka cream sauce. Yes, that's my that's my staple. Mm. Have you ever been requested. to Italy? I have. Oh actually. my I've gosh! Been to Italy. Isn't it amazing? So beautiful. Yes, you were in Portugal. Where did you go after London? Portugal, or you came from Portugal, or? I think I went to Portugal from London. Yes, absolutely. I'm always somewhere. Our digital nomad, but somebody's gonna have her sat down. If I if I can do anything about it, we're gonna get all you ladies snatched up. Um, Nate says, please share. Oh, you need the vodka sauce. Do you have a cookbook or a recipe? I do not have a cookbook. I you don't think I'm that. there yet. <laughs> oh, you're there. <laughs> I was not aware that I was there yet, so yes. I don't, but. I will only release it here first. Ooh. Miss Maggie. So I will give you that shortly. Maybe I can come back before I leave. I was gonna say yes, yeah. come back and you if whatever you wanna make, you teach me. Absolutely. So tell me the yes, you tell me the uh grocery list. Okay. I will order everything. If y'all want more, as long as she's in town, to come back and teach me how to make that. Uh, stuffed shells and vodka sauce so she can come and teach us. That would be great. Yes, we will definitely do that. Absolutely. Kelly says, what about some ribs? <laughs> that again. 
Achilles is our rib and whiskey drinking scholars. I love, I love that. Okay. I, I should, you know what? I should be making like a, a cocktail. I see you drinking water, but um, I should make like a little spritzer or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. The way to his heart is his stomach. Lauren, you did fabulous. You're going to get you. that crush. Absolutely. Absolutely. What else do you all want to know? So let's see here. What can I, ooh. Somebody asked me where I was from on okay. TikTok. Um, that's a hard question. Yes. Technically, Chicago. Chicago Technically. is home. Okay. Chicago is home. That is my home. Okay. So I have. Do you do you like the like? Um, this is from South Africa. This is the Amarula uh, cream and. Fruit. Oh my goodness! Yes. Just that's straight or amazing. over? Listen, straight, but no. <laughs> Straight. Okay. So I got this. Oh, let me show y'all. I got this in South Africa. So this is the African version of like a Bailey. So this is a cream liqueur. So we will put this uh, shout out to Kilis in, um, in, uh, do you want it like with coffee or you like it straight over ice? Straight over ice. I'm not a coffee girl. I'm a tea girl. Okay. Tea oh, okay. We'll have to sit down and do some tea. Absolutely. Let me get the, um, let me get the little highball. I'm so excited. I had mm -hmm. so much fun. Yes, this was so much fun, y'all. So we're just waiting on that meringue to brown. Then we will taste them. Let me get some ice. Any other questions? Oh, my goodness. Till Blue just said I look like sister, sister. And you, I have got, I've gotten that all of my life. I don't see it. Who's sister? Sister, sister, Tia and Tamara. Oh, you do! <laughs> I don't see it, but I, I get do. it all the time. I think I saw it one time. I looked in the mirror and it was like, oh. Oh my but I don't goodness. see it. I don't see it. They're beautiful, though. So that is a compliment. Thank you so much. Um, oh. Springfield, Illinois. Yes, I know where that is. I know. Mm -hmm. All right. So a little uh, nightcap for the hard worker. We're going to go in with the special South African Amarula liqueur. Just straight yeah. over ice, absolutely. Y'all can put this in your coffee, put it on your ice cream, put it however you like. Give that a taste. Oh my, thank you. Mm, you're welcome. Please enjoy. I have to touch you first. I can't oh, drink it. Okay, we will do a little, um, a little um, unsolicited etiquette tip on toasting. So, yes. Okay. Yes. I'll wait. Oh, you were going to toast me? Do you want me to go first? or? Oh, yes. You, okay. you have to give us the tip first because right, I'm so, going to mess this up. I'm not fussing already. <laughs> you're not going to mess it up. So if you're ever put on the spot, I learned this from my etiquette teacher, and you need to make a toast, okay? Then what you can do is think of three things, past, present, and future. For example, so I would like to give a toast to my dear Lauren. When I met Lauren in London, she was a... Um, very eager and um, uh, wide-eyed young attorney who wanted to um, reach out and do some refinement. And so we have been connected ever since. I see Lauren putting effort into uh, progressing as a feminine woman. Now she is um, catching the eye of a certain someone. And I believe that Lauren's future, past, present, future, I believe that Lauren's future is going to be bright and I wish her all the best and many more to come. Cheers. All right. Cheers. So that is your tip for the toast. Think of something for the person for the past, present, and future. The person who's actually receiving the toast just sits and allows it to, uh, allows the toast to come. You just receive, so you don't have to like clap or say anything, you just nod and receive it graciously. So would you like to practice? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to listen. Okay, this is off on the spot. I, I need this for a little bit. Okay, so <clears throat> my beloved Maggie, this wonderful woman of style, elegant, and grace, I would like to thank you for being that since the day I met you in our time shared in London. Um, I want to thank you for actively working with me and helping me in my feminine journey, as well as all of the accolades and the legacy you are creating for the future, including myself and for so many other women to come. So thank you for being the magnificent, wonderful woman that you are and especially in my life for the impact that you've had that I am so excited to help her share this gift and bring it to the world because you guys, there are no words. I'm not going to cry, but she's amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you did so much.
so good. Now we can drink to good health. Cheers. Thank you. Mm. This is delicious. I think I like this better than Kahlua. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So this is, for anybody who wants to know this, I actually got this in South Africa. So this is a very special cream liqueur, Amarula. We got this on Safari, so you all can see here. Um, it's cream and marula fruit um, product of South Africa. So very, very special. You all have never seen me use it before, but we have very, very special company. Hello, Jukes. Hello, 324. And hello, Not Many Picks. Cheers. Yes, everybody have a drink. Endless, the spokesperson. Yes, he says, I remember Lauren. We met in London on the Just Pearly Things um, podcast, and we have been close ever since. Thank you all for the hand claps. Thank you, thank you. What does Nate say? Miss Maggie, I got to work and tell my coworkers about all of your etiquette tips. They laugh at me all the time and say, I didn't know that. Aww. It's okay, y'all, I didn't know either. I have been working, um, we're done with the, um, with the apron, so I'm gonna take these off. We got three minutes for the meringue. Um, <laughs> Yes, it's going to be so Exciting. good. Um, etiquette, and I've talked about this in my finishing school. Lauren is my attorney helping us make sure we have everything taken care of. If you all are interested, we have the finishing school for the modern woman registration. Um, class has already started. That's yours. So we're going to fold that and put it in your bag. Absolutely. Um, if you are a woman who wants to work on your femininity, elegance, and etiquette, it is something that can be learned. It is something that can be practiced. If you're interested, I understand it's not for everyone. Uh, thank you, Teal Blue. He says, Maggie is a treasure. I appreciate that. But uh, I have taken several courses because y'all know I have a silly side and I love my silly side, but it's not always appropriate. Oh my God! so much Mr. Option One. I do have to put Wilbert up on the board. We had MTR here. Um, so I'm going to put Wilbert up on the board with his penny power at $20.01. But Mr. Option One replaced all of my appliances. My microwave went out. And so he replaced the whole kitchen. We have incredibly generous scholars. But to your point, Nate, thank you, Mr. Option One. Ladies, we are going to be doing, did I put it in here? I don't think I put it in here. We are going to be doing a, let me see if I can add it while I'm talking, a free training. It's a 30 day elegance boot camp. Okay, there it is. 30 day elegance boot camp um, approved by Woman of Elegance. She has a book. So let me show you guys. This is the Elegance Boot Camp. It will be November 1st through November 30th. Every day. Uh, Lucy and I will be giving you a tip per day from her 30 day guide. If you want to be more refined as the holidays are approaching, um, if you want to learn for free from me, share. I've already posted the first um, teaching and Vivian from Woman of Elegance will actually make an appearance. So I'm very oh, excited. Nice. Yes. Hello, Le Bogma. Hello, 504. So thank you, Lauren, for helping me to make sure we have all of our ducks in a row. And thank Absolutely. you, Mr. Yeah. Option One. Sabrina says, this is so nice. Yes, Mr. Option One in the building. Can't wait. All right, let me get Wilbert on the board. And I'm uh, sorry, Till. Till is a woman. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Teal, I'm sorry. Hello, Teal Blue. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Okay. Wilbert, $20.01 <laughs> with this penny power, because I promised him I would. And uh, Mr. Option One, we will close it out with his. All right, 45 seconds. Uh, I have it right okay. here. Thank you. What else do you all have for Lauren? Because we got 45 seconds, and then we're going to take that meringue out. Mm. Oh, let's turn it on. How are we looking? Mr. Option One's oven. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay, so we got Wilbur, $20.01 with his penny power. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And shout out to MTR in the building. All right, y'all, so let me get my oven mitt, so I'm ready. All right, we're gonna grab this. Aww. 
We're gonna get two spoons, two real spoons. Okay. Party time. It is party time. I'm gonna have to get the small spoon. All right, turn off the timer. Turn off the oven. So this is Miss Aisha's meringue. Let me show you guys. Let me see. Oh. You're just going to add your meringue on top. And I'm just going to do this to all four. And then we're going to put them in the oven on 350. Oh my God. Okay, y'all, they're done. I gave mine 15 minutes. So we'll taste one in just a second. We're going to let them cool off just a little bit. Okay, y'all, Aaliyah's going to taste it for us. Y'all, they look amazing. Let me show you. Our meringue has browned. All right, so let me take, all right, so I'm going to take a picture. I know, beautiful, right? <laughs> oh, they say you have pearl earrings on like this baby. Oh, I do. Capone says it looks good. Oh, thank you. Okay, y'all. So let me take a quick picture and then we're going to give these a try and it's up to you if you want to bring yours out. But since the filling is the same, I'd rather you leave yours intact or give it away. Yay. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's take a quick picture of these. Get up close to it. It's still kind of hot. So I'm just going to move these. My photographer friend said take multiple pictures <laughs> from lots of angles. So, yes, you all can see. All right, some with the flash, some without the flash. And then we're going to get in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, y'all. So when people say, Maggie, did you make it? Yes, Maggie made it. <laughs> All right. So now we have the baked version of Cooking with Aisha's banana pudding cheesecake. This one has toasted meringue on top. We have banana pudding. We have bananas, vanilla wafers, cream cheese, lemon, vanilla sugar, and milk. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right. <laughs> Red Buddy says, now I'm hungry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a plate. Let me serve you. So right. fancy. Yes, absolutely. Let me get a plate. We will take a bite and say good night. All right, so. All right, let's see. Let me get a spatula because I know they're gonna be hot. I'm gonna let you do like the kids. Is there one that you want? <laughs> yes, pick the one that you want. Mm -hmm. I want this one, one on the, the end. Overflow with overflowing. <laughs> yes, overflowing. Oh, it's not too, too. I can touch it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And then which one do I want? <laughs> I probably should go for the smallest one. Y'all are hungry. <laughs> um, I think I want the tallest one. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Okay. So we're just gonna move these here. All right, Capone, let me know what I'm supposed to do with that. Now you could, if you wanted to do a little garnish, you could dust it with a little bit of cinnamon. You could put um, the walnuts or do whatever, but I just want you all to see. These are the minis. Hello, Ludwig and hello, OT. All right, so we are going to, is this right? Yes. Okay. All right, so. Here you go. <laughs> All right, so are we ready to dig in? Yes, I'm so excited. All right, y'all. Let me bring it up close so you all can see. I just want to bring it up close so I can eat it. Okay, I'm gonna let you <laughs> go on in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let me give them a, a close up so you I'm all can excited. see. 
that's the top. That's the meringue. Ten plus sounds is giving me the hand clap. So we're gonna go in. We're gonna crack into that meringue. Oh yeah. We're gonna get some meringue, some pudding. We're gonna get some Nilla. Ooh, y'all, it's steaming. We're gonna get some cookie, and we're gonna get some banana. Let me see if I can get crust too. If I can get everything, a little bit of everything in there, and then I'll. All right, y'all. Okay. I know, I'm so excited. It's a little bit, um, you know, the meringue is a little bit, um, like a little bit of a texture on top. Yes. Ready? Yes. Oh, wow. Y'all, a little goes a long way. It is decadent. It is rich. Honestly, it was only in there for 15 minutes, so it's not too, too hot in the hands. It's not, actually. I, was, I thought it would be hotter. Y'all, I'm really telling good. you, it is so, so good. I like the meringue. Do you like the meringue? It's kind of like a little marshmallow. Mm -hmm. If y'all like a little toasted marshmallow on there. Mm-hmm. There you go. Well, mm. y'all, this is a lot. Mm. So Lauren and I are going to sit down. We have been up here talking to y'all. Thank you so much, Miss Aisha, for your two recipes. We have the baked banana pudding cheesecake. Lauren has uh, Mr. Option One. I want to make sure you all saw Lauren made one on her own. <laughs> it's in the fridge. We'll leave it in here intact, but I just want you all to see. Lauren made her own banana pudding whole pie cheesecake. So we have the full version and the small version for y'all greedy gong gongs. <laughs> Teal Blue says, shouldn't you let it cool in the refrigerator? This is the no bake, and then we made the bake. There was two versions, all right? So thank you all so much. Let me go ahead and wrap everything up so we can sit down. Yes, please check out Miss Cooking with Aisha. The recipe comes from Home Style Cooking Made Easy. Page 44 is the banana pudding recipe. Please, 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 y'all check her out. Thank you to... Um, MTR for stopping by. Thank you to Wilbert for the cash app. Thank you to Red Bunny Classic um, for the, um, uh oh, y'all were all, I missed it. Y'all were doing the penny power. And thank you to Mr. Option One. But most importantly, thank you, Lauren. Aww, thank thank you. you for coming by and having fun in real life in the kitchen with me. So, y'all, we are going to sit down. Oh, you're welcome. So, Stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. So I'll be cooking. What am I making? I don't know. When am I making it? In the evening time. If y'all like what we're doing, stay tuned. Share the news. Um, what's Aisha's book called again? Homestyle Cooking Made Easy. I know it's going to be backwards on TikTok, but there you go. Um, if you like what I'm doing, turn on your notifications. If you all need help with your business setup, please check out activatedlaw.com. If you need contract templates, please check out thelegalno.com. Mm -hmm. Lauren is on, well, do you want to share your socials or how they can reach out to you? Absolutely. Um, I am just for Lauren personally on social media, Activated Law on social media, and The Legal No on social media. So mm. I'm everywhere. <laughs> yes, and I have tagged her. We got Lauren in the chat. If y'all are interested in cruising, you can still get rooms at the prevailing rate. So link is in the description. Uh -oh. <laughs> link is in the description. You all can check it out. We are going to go sit down. Thank you. That was so much fun. Thank you so much, uh, TikTok. We will see you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Thank you for the hearts and the likes. Thank you so much, Instagram. I will see you all tomorrow. Class is dismissed. Thank you. And Facebook. YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. 
Quiet Storm says, looks like we have to be more forceful and set the, well, y'all don't get in trouble. We had a good time, all right? My moderators are serious, okay? They're serious. Oh, thank you. Yes, we pinned her link at the top. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Bye.